What is going on guys? I hope you all having a great day today. We're going to be talking about the best upgrades for a Cummins. One of these upgrades is going to retain to a second generation Cummins and the other two are going to retain to other Cummins throughout the other generations. I appreciate you guys tuning into this video. My last few videos have all been over 100 likes, which has been awesome guys. Likes really help me a lot. So if you do like this video, please let me know by sending a like down below so I know to make more videos like this. Now we're going to give you a quick walk around of the truck. For those of you who are new to the channel, I do have a 2001 24 valve Cummins. I started making videos on this about four months or five months ago. Pretty much every time I upgrade something, I make a video on it. And this past week I made a S Pro gauge install video, which I think turned out really good. I've been getting a lot of good feedback on that. So it was a project, definitely. It was pretty uh, tough to do, especially because I've never done anything like it before. But I feel like my video should help you guys out. And I made a suspension leveling kit install video as well. But for those of you who are new to the channel, this is a walk around. They are 33 by 12 and a half by uh, 20 fuel renegades and Toyo MTs. Fuel renegades do have a negative 44 offset. I get asked the question all the time, so I just wanted to cover it. And I do have Bill Steen 5100 series shocks on the thing because I get asked that as well. But now that we got the walk around done, we're going to go ahead and jump into the three upgrades that you should get to your Cummins. Now this video is for beginners that just bought a Cummins or are planning to buy a Cummins and they don't really know what path to take first, what to upgrade first. Because when I bought a Cummins, I'll be honest with you guys, I didn't know really anything about uh, not only a Cummins, but diesels in general. I've always owned a gas. I've always wanted a diesel. I'm 21 years old, so I did get one kind of young at the first opportunity that I could possibly buy one. I bought one and I didn't know what path to take, guys. So I looked on YouTube, I looked online. Of course, there's forums, but there's so many threads, so many different uh, options, so many different people have different opinions. I'm just going to tell you guys my personal opinion, and many of you who do know a lot about Cummins will probably agree with me, especially on the second generation. So in the very first one we're going to jump into, the first upgrade you should probably do to your Cummins that you're, that you're buying is put a lift pump on it. Now, for me, I got the Fast 150. I do recommend the Fast. A lot of people, there's a lot of conversations about Air Dog Fast. Which one should I get? I definitely, I definitely recommend the Fast. Everyone that I know that has a Fast and never had a problem with one, this is the Fast 150 Titanium Series. And everyone that has an Air Dog, probably like... I would say out of the 10 people I know have an air dog, about three, four of them have had a problem with it. Now these aren't drastic problems. These aren't these aren't problems that is gonna just completely destroy your truck. But they've had have problems with the lift pump not giving enough fuel pressure over time. But I haven't heard of anybody having a problem with the fast. Now that's just my personal experience. I wanna stress on that. That's my personal experience, guys. Everyone's gonna be different. But from what I know and what from I've been told, the fast it is is definitely better than the air dog in my opinion so again this is for beginners this is for people who want to get an idea of what they should do to their truck so i definitely suggest the fast 150 first because you never want your full fuel pressure to get below like seven five uh that leads us into the next upgrade for the cummins that you should get and that is gauges now a lot of people get glow shift gauges some people get auto meter i did go with the is pro gauges on this thing because i feel like the is pro is Definitely the best option in getting the best reading. So I did go with the ISPRO gauges for me and for what I recommend. I recommend getting your EGT gauge, which is your exhaust gas temperature. You always want to monitor this, make sure, and this is going to play into our next upgrade. And then you want to get your trans temperature. It's always good to know your trans temp because you don't want that to get above 220. And if it is at 220, you definitely want to slow down and start to let off the pedal. Maybe turn your AC to one and and really just start to ease off the pedal because you never want that thing to peak over really in the 200s for too long. You really want that thing to go around 180 to 160. And if you can get it below 160, then that's good. But on the in the city, you might peak over 160, but might be between 160 and 180 if your uh, trans is, or if you're not, you know, pressing the pedal and going too fast and you're just cruising. But when you're on the interstate, you should be about 160, 170. The next thing we got is our fuel pressure gauge. Now, right now, with the fast, I have been constantly getting about 26, 27 PSI on the fuel pressure, which is amazing for this VP, because if you guys know about Cummins at this generation, the VP44, 98 to 02 sucks. So you definitely want to monitor that. You definitely want to get that 
fast or the air dog i'm not dogging the air dog you know the air dog is still do its thing my brother has an air dog he likes it uh, but he has had a couple problems with it that he'll probably tell you about but the fast is doing me well it's doing its job it's keeping me about 26 27 at an idle then when, even when i press it down about 75 percent the way it's still keeping 26 27 psi on the fuel pressure it's constantly pushing pressure which is great but that's that's definitely an upgrade you should be getting first the lift pump and then gauges because you always want to monitor these three things because you never want to know too late that you have a problem because that's just going to cost you more money guys so go ahead and invest in some uh, either some glow shift ones some autometer ones or some is pro ones i recommend the is pro ones a lot of people will probably tell you they recommend the is pro ones as well and uh, you should be good. You should be able to monitor your things. If you are getting a little too fast, slow it down again. EGT is going too high. You can slow it down. Uh, just start to cool off. Turn the AC off. Roll the windows down. Things like that. That you can prevent more catastrophic things happening to your truck. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is, remember we talked about the EGT. We want to get that down as best as possible. So the next thing we're going to go into the engine well. And if you guys are new to the channel, be sure you subscribe because i got a lot of things coming to this build. As you can see by the engine, I don't have really anything done to this thing too much. I worked on the outside and then I put the, well, the first thing I did was put the uh, lift pump on here and then I just got the gauges. And then one of the first things I did was put the intake and exhaust on here. Now I do have the Banks coder intake. I do hear great things about the SMB coder intake as well as the AFE coder intake, but I did go with the Banks because it, it it's just a really it's just a really nice quarter intake i mean you can't go wrong with either i mean at the end of the day you got to pick one guys i did end up going with the banks so i know a lot of you guys are going to be oh smb is the best oh b half is the best for the price oh aem or oh afe or whatever you know at the end of the day you got to pick one I, I went with the banks i'm not dogging anybody for going with anything else smb is great my brother loves it it was a very close second to the banks um and also my exhaust i got from diamond eye performance i'll get a little under the cab view for you guys it is a five inch straight from the turbo exhaust and it is right here they get this from diamond eye guys i love it it sounds great which is a plus but the biggest thing is it lowers the egt's which is always good guys you definitely don't want your egt's to get above that uh, or get into that yellow at all so i do have the seven inch tip on here but it has lowered the egt's a ton for me guys uh, my egt's never really gets over eight which is awesome and it stays in the green pretty much the entire time i got my probe right here for the EGT straight in there. If you need if you need or want to know how to install gauges, check out my ISPRO gauge installs. It's part one and part two. And I pretty much give a really in-depth uh, instructions and hands-on and actually show you guys from beginning to end how exactly to, is to install these gauges, guys. So you guys should definitely check that out. That's gonna pretty much do it for this video, guys. I do wanna go ahead and give a shout out to a few people who are supporting our Ducket sticker. If you guys don't know or if you guys are new my brother and i are making these ducket stickers and selling them for ten dollars by four six by six you can get any color you want you can get bigger if you want or you can get a four by four and again if you want a bigger one you just let us know i'll put the purchase information in the description below here's mine right here i got it color matched and it looks really good i get a lot of compliments on it already and i've only had it on there for about two weeks so it's doing really good uh, i like it and we're going to continue to sell more of these things guys and if you've already bought one i just want to thank you guys but with that said guys i appreciate you guys watching this video if you liked it please be sure to drop me a like below it helps me out a ton with the youtube search results people more people will be able to see it and that helps me out a ton guys we're at 5200 subscribers i could not thank you guys enough i never thought i'd get to 5200 this quick and i couldn't thank you guys enough i'm going to keep making videos i have a lot of good ideas coming up soon for the channel Got a lot of new upgrades for the Cummins coming. So if you're new, like I said, be sure you do subscribe because you're not too late. There's a lot of things going to roll out for this thing, and I'm very excited for it. I hope you guys have a good rest of y'all's day, and we'll see you in the next one.